sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a wannabe me, but try and do it better than me, an English professor, a WhatsApp band, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section but also got a lot of love that voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99 all you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line do not fall for the okie doke people if you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them. An ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading, shall be in the description box below. Also, there will be a link in the description box below where you can join a membership. There is a link where you can copy and paste that into your browser and get a free birth chart from a reputable site, no affiliation to be. Be mindful, I do not comment on anyone's platform and I have not commented on any one platform at all from this channel. So if you see my picture, it's not me. The scammers are scamming, okay? Interesting enough, we had the Seven of Swords come up in the last reading. Not sure if it's released yet, but we shall see. We have someone that wanted a victory. This is someone that you possibly placed on a high status, okay? Uh, on a pedestal here or this person wants a victory with you and they placed you on this um, pedestal here we're talking about a lover's connection a higher level connection here this person wants victory with you all right most definitely this could be this king of wands energy that is Trying to manifest their wishes fulfilled with this empress after coming out of some self-limiting belief system. OK, this person is regretful. I feel like they had they felt like they had to walk away from you or they had to walk away from this queen of wands type of energy. All right. They couldn't make a choice. This is someone that had a surface level connection with you or someone else, but they also had a higher level connection with the Empress card being here. Somebody's in regret. And for some of you, this is you Empress, whether if you're male or female. Okay. If you are male in this energy, you're in this energy of, um, I'm here reaping what you sow, but not just that. You are attracting the things that you need. You have balanced your masculine and your feminine energy. You're in this energy of, uh, I'm hearing receptivity. I don't know if that's a word, but that's what I heard, okay? You are drawing in what you need and you are manifesting from your heart space. So you are drawing in a higher level soulmate, okay? A higher level commitment, um, Empress, you are very regretful from the things that you invested in the past. OK, some of you, you were holding on to this person's energy really tightly. And by doing so, you were causing this person to neglect you, to neglect themselves. OK, they felt like you will always be there. All right. So I feel like you may not want um, a connection, but nonetheless, one is here for you because you are in this balanced um State this balanced energy, you balance your masculine and feminine, regardless if you are a male or a female. But there's something about your past here, the things that you invested in. If this is not you, this is someone that's very passionate about you. OK, they see you as their equal. However, they have some deceptive energy surrounding them. And I believe it's grief or guilt. All right. Somebody is fearful of you manifesting someone new. OK, somebody is also fearful of possibly you finding out how they intertwined themselves with you in the past. There was some sort of betrayal here surrounding someone's manifestation. OK, for some of you, you have a false flame, whether if it's male or female. 
whoever this is in the page of wands energy. This is someone that is, you know, they have a childlike nature. They may bring out the childlike nature within you, but there's also a strong, intense lower chakra connection. Okay. Um, this is someone that possibly went back and forth between you and someone else with the six of swords here. Somebody's regretful for, for, I'm hearing stepping out of this relationship for some of you, but for this person that wants you, that sees you as their equal, this is someone that is possibly regretful for not telling you how they feel. OK, this person didn't didn't have time to invest in you because they were learning lessons from their past person. At the bottom of the deck, we have an unalive situation. And there we have it. I felt the energy of the emperor, but I didn't see him or her. But most definitely somebody could be a business owner. All right. So this emperor is used to getting what they want, whether if they male or female. All right. So. I feel like this person was greedy with the nine of cups right here next to the emperor. So this person had to balance their ego. All right. We also have uh, the five of swords here. So this is telling me that this was a spiritual thief, uh, um, a, a physical bully. All right. Or somebody seat solace in the wrong things. OK, is also what I'm getting. This person or you was in this abusive relationship, okay? They was dealing with someone that was greedy or they seen you as greedy. Take it how it resonates. You may be feeling this energy coming from this person that is your secret competition or they feel like they are your secret competition. So this is someone that likes to bully people. For some of you, this is who this emperor or empress um, had in the past, OK, is there people that think they're competing with you? OK, they're also spying or doing some sort of research here. They could also be checking somebody's tech me text messages or email messages or something like that. For some of you, this person is in the energy of reminiscing. If you have old text messages, pictures, emails and things of that sort, this person is looking at those. You may be feeling that energy of this person trying to draw you in. OK, this person needed to do some subconscious work. All right. Um, they had some sort of fear, something that was deep down within them. OK, they possibly had a belief system that they need to overcome. Somebody need to follow their intuition. OK, somebody also could their moods could fluctuate during the full moon. So you may feel this person's energy during that time as well. OK. Six of Wands, why is this here? worry and money. Okay. So somebody lacked discipline when it comes down to their finances here. This person is very passionate. Okay. But for some of you, this person is financially well off. However, they I'm getting hoarding. All right. Two, five could be significant. Four, eight could be significant as well as eight, four. The 12th of the month could be significant. Three. All right. Or seven. It could be life path numbers. It could be numbers to someone's phone, uh, address. It could be numbers that you see on a, re on a receipt, okay? I'm hearing repeating synchronicities, okay? So this came out in the last reading also, but it came out in the reverse, all right? So if somebody didn't believe in themselves, okay? This is self-defeatist behavior, all right? So a chapter was complete with this person. With inspiration here on the fence, I feel like this person um, lacks creativity. They may look at you as a muse, okay? This person may be inspired by you, especially if you have a platform. Somebody could travel or their work could travel all around the world. With Grace being here, I feel like you let go or this person let go or needs to let go of this limiting belief here, all right? I feel like this person feels like they cannot compete with you for some reason, all right? They may still be holding on to some negative energy from past relationships that they need to clear up. For some of you, this could have something to do with their mother, okay? Or your mother. The Empress Wise is here. Yeah, whether it passed on or, or not, okay? We have criticism, yeah. We have uh, stand your ground with promiscuity, 
validation and hate. All right. So I do feel like there is some jealousy surrounding this empress when it comes down to the way you take care of your household, how you manage money, how people see you. Somebody's very critical of you. If you have um, a very beautiful exterior, this person may feel like eh, intimidated by that. All right. So with the criticism being here, I feel like there was a lot of conversations going on about this empress behind her back. They may have accused this empress of being promiscuous. All right. Um, they may have used this person's body against them with validation. OK, I feel like you are somebody that does operate out of integrity here. OK, um, with, with this root chakra energy being here. Somebody may be feeling feeling fearful or sluggish, all right? But this could also be an indication of, with the Empress in the upright, of um, celibacy, okay? Somebody doesn't like the way that you move, all right? Someone didn't want um, this person, or you didn't want this person to be trusted, Okay, or you don't like the attention that this person get or whoever this is. Somebody's a high achiever and they don't like that. They don't like the fact that you have this calling, um, that you sit on this throne here. Okay, and possibly by yourself, even if you are with uh, a, a partner here. Why is the lovers here? Somebody may have had a choice. OK, we've been getting that energy the last couple of readings. Somebody has a choice or had a choice to stay in a situation where they didn't feel spiritually, materially, um, physically fulfilled. We have humiliation in reverse, passion in reverse and dreaming in reverse. So somebody may have an overactive sacral. Uh, sacral chakra. All right. So this person could come off as obsessive, controlling. OK, even easily moved by their emotions. OK, this person is very they use their. This would be someone that uses their body to get attention with the psycho chakra being here in reverse. Somebody may have issues with their kidneys or their backs or just. Uh, creativity in general. So some of you, you may be uh, experiencing some um, ailments in the body. Okay. This may also be something that your divine counterpart is going through. Okay. So somebody may, I, I do feel like someone is a celibate, but then someone may have dealt with someone that used their body as a weapon. And what I mean by that is they played on, um, their loins. I don't know how to say it. So some sort of truth is unfolding and somebody's very fearful of that. Fearful of what they invested in. Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Somebody has an over. A, um, they, they are very codependent here. So with Discord being here, there's some sort of disagreement, or a quarrel, a fight. OK, uh, this person could have been fighting themselves here. And I do feel like they do feel guilty. So much red. OK, so somebody is very passionate about you. All right. Somebody could also be experiencing some form of health issues, whether if it's with the stomach, the black, the, the bladder. Somebody may also be uh, urinating a lot. All right. I do feel like this person may, you know, think about you and get aroused. Let's put it that way. Why is five of cups here, please? We're going to go ahead over to the membership side for uh, the reversal cards. So for those of you that are my members, go ahead and join me over there. Um, others of you that would like to join the membership, there will be a link in the description box below. The, the, the description box is next to or around the notification bell. There's a little arrow facing downward. You click that little arrow. It will expand and you'll see a whole bunch of information. I will also attach at the end of this reading a list that shows you the different perks of each tier. So make sure you choose the right tier. OK, so we're talking about experience here. 
five of cups. So this is someone that learns from making mistakes. All right. So somebody seeking some sort of truth or possibly they were seeking validation outside of themselves with the five of cups being here. And this person is definitely grieving. OK, grieving a loss. OK, possibly of what they invested in, especially if they had to walk away from something that they put a lot of blood, sweat and tears um, on. We're talking about accumulation. I heard of debt. OK, so somebody may have accumulated a lot of debt and now they're regretting that you may have tried to warn that person uh, in the past here. But for some of you, this person was on a high horse. They had a lot of attention here. They were also going through some sort of test here. OK, some sort of elevation, ascension. So we're talking about someone's reputation. So this person is very fearful of people talking about them behind their backs. OK, this person may have also talked about you behind your back. OK, um, and we have the strength card in reverse. So the strength card in reverse talks about abuse of power. OK, somebody feels disgraced, but it also could be an indication of an argument. OK, it could be discord. All right. Somebody having weak boundaries or somebody just abusing their position here. And I feel like this is what happened to you, possibly the person that wants to come towards you. All right. And it may be happening to someone that you had some sort of situation with in the in the past. Somebody like confidence. Now, on the outside exterior, it may not have uh, come off that way. Somebody could be a Leo here. We got Gemini, Virgo. When I do spreads like this, I only like to call out the major arcana, but definitely um, it could be any sign. So the Empress is talking about uh, Taurus, Libra, and Gemini here. But for those of you that don't know what's in your birth chart, okay, um, are those signs that isn't ringing a bell. A lot of times when it's a love situation, it, It'll come up in your Venus or your North Node, possibly your South Node if you're dealing with a past life situation, maybe your 12th house, your 11th house. If these are people that you have some sort of soul contract with, possibly from a, a past life and you may have uh, encountered these people this lifetime. But somebody is watching you manifest. Now, for some of you, there's an argument taking place behind the scenes because someone is either speaking ill will, intentions, criticism over your work or how you manifest here. But they may also be gaining inspiration or trying to, you know, mimic you bite off your creative endeavors, your your intellectual property, especially especially with clarity being here. Somebody's playing mind games. OK, somebody also may be trying to manifest you with the mind, thinking about you a lot here or trying to send you arousal type of energy, wanting you to think about the times that they, you know, you and this person shared in the bedroom. Why is seven of swords here? Virtue. Oh my gosh, look at all this. <laughs> and it's on the fence. Okay. All right. So this is giving me the energy of someone that is overly, they're overly promiscuous. Okay. They may have felt like that was the way to get this person. Now, for some of you, you are, um, you are men and you were possibly really attracted to this person's body here but you were not able to get this person because you were coming off like in a childish type of um, from a childish place okay and some of you you still may be aroused by this person but they're not connecting with you in that manner because it's giving off like I'm hearing desperation I don't know um, this person may feel like you're like that with everybody okay with all this red here I know somebody feels uh, sluggish. They feel like they want to explode. So this is why I'm getting all right. But somebody could also be in the energy of survival. OK, so this is this is somebody that you really can't trust because they're going to go where the money flow with virtue, virtue being here. There's some sort of argument, some sort of altercation that took place in the past where somebody had to, uh, to move away. OK, from someone. This one feels upset 
with themselves because they didn't follow their heart. They didn't invest in someone that they felt they had a strong connection with. And I believe that this connection was both uh, arousal and mental. This person seen a future with you or you seen a future with them. Virtues on the fence here. So we got two six could be significant. Six two could be significant. But this could be an indication that this is a past life energy. Okay. So this person lacked morals and they weren't righteous. This person is a thief. Okay, they lack patience. This is somebody that thinks a lot. They're always in their head trying to figure out some sort of mischievous plan that they could uh, implement on someone. Okay, so somebody's watching you manifest here and they want to do that. They want to do that. So for, for some of you, this person may use their body or their goods to get what they want. But for somehow, uh, for some reason... They're watching you manifest. We'll check the yeah, obstacles. Okay, so this deceptive person is somebody that, this person that puts you on a high horse and you possibly didn't know that because they didn't pay you any attention. I feel like because they're used to people throwing themselves at them. They became an obstacle. This, this deceptive person, this liar. Okay, yeah. They needed to let go of the this deceptive energy or they needed to let go of this lack of virtue. This is someone that possibly needed to refrain. They needed to practice abstinence here. All right. So somebody's integrity is that question. Why is the magician here, please? Yeah, integrity. OK, so, yeah, you're very protective over what it is you are manifesting. For some of you, um, be mindful of how you manifest because you are in this energy of calling things in. So whatever level you are at, if you are at this level where you only want casual hookups, you're going to manifest someone that only wants casual hookups. If your vibration is one where people question what you do behind closed doors, you're going to attract someone that is going to be questionable. Okay. What they do behind closed doors, how they get their money. Will they cheat? Are they in it for the long haul? Is this person promiscuous? Whatever vibration you are at is what you're going to attract. Okay. And somebody's very fearful of you figuring this out with the page of wands here. Somebody is definitely trying to manifest a lower vibrational relationship with you. For some of you, this is what you are leaving. Page, well, six of swords. Why is this here? Yeah, somebody needs to release that, um, our, that energy. And it's going to take uh, strength here. Somebody may have wanted people to move away from you or they are apologetic. They want forgiveness here because they moved away from you. You are this beacon of light. You're very inspirational and people see you as that. I felt like this person didn't take that into account. They didn't see that as a virtue, okay, because this person was too focused on passion with the King of Wands. I feel like all of their interactions were passionate or people that like wanted to control. They may be some of you. This person may be in some sort of art. OK, whether if it's a musician, they're around a lot of people that uh, present their bodies to get what they want here. OK, very passionate. The King of Wands is. They're also very creative, char char charismatic, bold here. But this person has their eyes set on a star. Now, for some of you, this person could actually be a star. Somebody may be coming out of karma. Okay, karma. Um, and they may be walking or some form of institution and they may be wanting to come towards you. Here, for some of you, this person is walking into some sort of karma because they're still in this energy of of um, getting what they want, you know. 
So they're accumulating a lot of debt and possibly a really bad reputation as well. Okay. Yeah. So if this person is, is seeking like a truthful for um, connections here, they're not getting that with the people that they are attracting because they need to heal. This is somebody that goes from one person to another, to another, to another, and they may be used to giving themselves. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing in exchange for company, whether if it's male or female. Okay, somebody is in this energy of needing validation outside of themselves, and they don't like whoever this empress is because this is someone that is self a self starter. The empress has been through it all. Is for me, the empress is the high priestess in the upright and all four of the queens. This is someone that knows when to move and when not to move, and somebody's very critical. Um, of you. They may also make fun of the fact that you are celibate for those of you that are celibate. Okay. Somebody's learning from their mistakes. Page of Wands. Why is this here? I feel like when this person, this person is so confident when they're not around you, but when they get around you, they get really aroused. And not only that, they feel like they feel small. I don't know. Um, yeah, they may be a little bit intimidated by grace. So this person, oh, I heard a horn. This person needs to trust that, or you need to trust in your intuition. Some of you, you need to keep the door closed to this person. Um, if you are this person in this page of wands energy, maybe you are a young adult here. You may travel a lot and you have to instill boundaries. You're going to gain some sort of insight. Some of you, you need to close the door to this negative thinking. I don't care if you're in your 20s or not, um, because there's a test coming up. OK, somebody needs to be more self-aware of their energy in their body and treat it like a temple. OK, just because you are attractive does not mean that you have to show it uh, in a promiscuous way or to make someone look at you or, or whatever. That's why we have virtue here. Somebody may have questioned your virtue. Maybe you are someone that has a nice body or whatever, and you may show it. I don't know. And somebody was questioning, are you a virtuous uh, woman? Okay, if you are a male, they were questioning, do you have integrity? Can I trust you when you're not around? Possibly because whatever you do, it may be online or you may travel here. But somebody needs to close the door to an uh, old cycle or they already have and they're going to gain some insight. All right, it's going to get some parting messages. And then those of you that are interested, I will see you on the membership side. That was quick. We got surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling, doing both the hard and the easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. And we got the sign card here. So definitely this is speaking about creating your reality, staying centered with the sign card here and staying in this energy of gratitude. Right. We got surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you built in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. And then I just say center. Yeah, so this is about somebody's creativity. This keeps coming out. Surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So, I hope this gave you some clarity for those that are interested again check the description box to my members shout out to all of you i really do appreciate you shout out to all of you that pray for me that send me healing energy and those of you that donate to my members i'm gonna see you on the other side Deuces.